Hello everyone and welcome back to DMG. It's the PC with the screen in it. Um, I'm sorry this video was supposed to be like a couple weeks earlier. It was supposed to come pretty soon after the first PC screen mod video. But then I got that whole, you know, vintage server and that's really been taking up most of my time. So I'm just now getting around to it. I'm sorry. Anyway, apologies aside. I'm going to be um, really improving the design of it today, so uh, without any further ado, let's get into it, quite literally. So in the last video, you might have heard me, well, last video about this PC, you might have heard me mentioning that there were so many cables coming out the back and back into the computer. Uh, HDMI went back into the computer from the graphics card. USB went back into the computer from the USB port to power the video converter box. And then I just had a 12 volt wall adapter going to here. Well, I have made a, uh, a solution that fixes all of those. You may have heard the age old adage, Molex to SATA, lose all your data. But I did not hear anything in there about Molex to 12 volt USB and SATA. So this adapter is even more exempt from causing fires because it has electrical tape on it. That's right, this beautiful work of engineering was one of those 10.30 p.m. I'm probably too tired to be using a soldering iron creations and I actually haven't tested it out yet. Shortly after I made it, when I was planning for this video, I was like, oh, I'll just plug it into the Molex. Because what PC power supply doesn't have Molex? This one, apparently. Like, I just thought it was a de facto thing that a computer power supply would have a computer power supply standard connector. So I had to buy this, a SATA to Molex, to plug my Molex to SATA and other connector adapter into. So to run it, uh, I have not tried this out yet, I've just made sure that it would like um, actually plug into the computer's ports, so that was a nice last minute save. I really feel like I'm going to break something here. And then, I swear, I'm g I will never hear the end of jokes about this cable, but <laughs> here it is, it's my... 6 inch HDMI cable. Now this thing is so thick, shut up, but it's so thick that it doesn't like bend well. Um, but that's what I'm going to be using so that I don't have a lot of extra HDMI cable inside the computer. I'll try and not break the HDMI port off the graphics card. Yeah, look, look how tight that is. Ooh. And of course we need our video cable and, and uh, converter box. There's a bit of extra video cable inside the PC, that's really fine. Now I think after I get this video cable and power cable connected, I'm going to wrap them in electrical tape so they won't come out and then just be sending 12 volts straight to the case. And so that interference on the, on the case, that's not very well grounded, uh, won't be going into the video signal. And also, um, we gotta remember that I'm putting this in a PC, so there's an exposed motherboard. So literally any piece of metal could short across the stuff down there, which that's your like USB ports, your USB headers, and if one of those gets shorted, uh, if the board doesn't have proper protection, it could kill the whole board and power supply. And I don't want to find out the hard way if the board does have proper protection against USB overload. So uh, I'm just going to wrap these connectors like that. Remember kids, practice safe uh, AV. Mm -hmm. So that's what they've always told me. Now we've just got this little piece of copper poking out there that I didn't insulate well enough. It's just a part of the wire that I didn't do very well on. Especially not well. Let's see. So yeah, video to video. 
HDMI to HDMI. I might, like, tape that to the bottom of the GPU so that it's not just sagging and weighing down the HDMI cable because if this does work, this will be a much cleaner solution. So basically this adapter originally was a Molex to two SATA, and I just locked off one of the SATA connectors and then replaced it because USB is five volt and that power plug is 12 volt. Molex conveniently provides uh, two grounds, a plus 12 and a plus five. So with just those cables, you can make pretty much any adapter, Molex to basically anything else computer related or just electronics related because a lot of things take 12 or 5 volts. Hell, you can make a, a Molex to aquarium pump adapter with like a soldering iron and a couple minutes. Oh yeah, I also wrapped that other video connector so that it would not short out. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, tape the HDMI box up here so that, like, all of its weight is not... Alright, all of its weight is going to be on the HDMI cable, I suppose, because uh, it don't work. I just don't want to snap that cable because actually a short HDMI cable is like the same price as a as a long one. Why are they so damn expensive? Like that was a six dollar cable. Like seven and a half after shipping because I don't pay for Prime because I'm a, I'm a dirty little peasant. All right, compared to the solution we had, it's still just a rat's nest. Is that gonna be enough clearance? Yeah. The USB connector almost touches the case. I might, I might wrap it in more electrical tape just to make sure we don't have shorts. All right, I hope this works. Uh, again, this is my first time ever trying this on camera. Because if it explodes, I at least want to get a cool video out of it. There we go, refocused. Power supply on. No fire. So the screen should light up when I press the power button. Oh, it works. It actually works. No way, that's awesome. And then when I press the power button, the screen turns off as well, which that was, that was a major issue with the old design. The screen would stay on when the power supply uh, like, not when the power supply was off, but when the, the motherboard power was turned off. Because even in S1 sleep state, this board still powers USB devices. And because it drew power from USB, the screen would just stay on. And it's really bright, even on its lowest brightness. That is really cool. Okay, good. It didn't just work that once. It actually works. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, um I might I might re-demonstrate the screen. I don't know. I don't think I need to. Like if you want to see a demonstration of it working, go watch the first video. But I mean, I think I am going to wrap this video up here because Everything else I can think of with this screen I covered in the previous video about it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Just wanted to quickly show off my my Molex power mod and show what's really possible with, you know, hobby electronics and a computer power supply. That's it. See you next time.